Hey guys, this is Sienna Sparrowhawk again. Um, in the background, I do have Peter Grundy's one hour of witchy music going. Um, he is a composer. I will link his YouTube page to your well to the videos that I'm going to be posting with him in the background. I quite enjoy it. It's very witchy without being very meh, you know, like, okay, this is not actually listenable. Um, I could see it in a video game, to be honest. Like, it's that type of awesome music. It's very good. Yeah, that's probably good. So that's who's playing in the background. Um, so hopefully you like it. And we'll see. Okay, so now what I'm reviewing today is Silver Raven Wolves, Solitary Witch, the complete book of shadows for the new generation. A lot of people have a beef with Silver Raven Wolf. I personally, it's honestly, at least she does her research. She doesn't put a bunch of bullshit in her books. Um,. At least her non-fiction books, I should say, because her fiction ones, yeah, they're okay. They're, they're a decent read for a teenager, talking about that. Um, I guess why I'm so lenient towards Silver and Wolf was the first book I ever got was Teen Witch by her, back when I was a teenager. So maybe I'm a little bit more lenient with her. Um, gotta say it's her best book yet. It is very detailed. It has a good section of spell work. If you're not at the point where you can't make your own spells, which this book is great for beginners and intermediate experience, whatever level you're at, this book is great for it. Um, maybe read the first bit of the book first before you jump right into spell work. One thing I do like about it is it really does touch bases on every topic you can think of. Um, the gods and goddesses are split up by different pathions, which is nice because sometimes you just need that go-to. Different herbal amulets and talismans, different everything, honestly. Um, astrology. It's an all-around well-written book. Each of the tools... Everything like that. Um, the spells in my way are a little bit more juvenile. Um, in the fact, they're more for college, late teens. But hey, you know what? She has to work off of a general grouping that are more likely to buy her books and she is Wiccan so nothing against Wiccans it's just harm none it's a little bit more easier for people to get into Wicca than it is full-blown witchcraft because well the whole harm none thing right um, it tests touches base on Kona power different recipes for the stabbits some very interesting ritual ideas. All around great book, to be honest. I mean, if you think of it, she's been around for so long. Has done so many books that are full of great knowledge. Um, I will give this one a buy. I use it myself as a reference book. And I find it works great. And of course, puppy dogs are wrestling beside me, making noise. But, you know, that's dogs for you. Yeah, go for it, guys. Buy it, use it as your first book, as a reference book, you know, it is worth the money. And I mean, really, $24.95 Canadian or $21.95 US for a book this big with this much detail in the New Age, Pagan, Witchcraft, whatever section, that's pretty cheap. Most books the size on this topic is very closer to 50 60 bucks so give it a buy um as much as people don't like her 
or people do like her. She knows her shit. She has knowledge behind what she puts in her books. She's not just willy-nilly, right? Um, yeah. That's that for this, guys.